Welcome to Prezim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 47 of ASP.NET video series. In this session, we'll discuss about the regular expression validator control. Before continuing with the session, I strongly recommend to watch parts 44, 45 and 46 of this video series. Regular expression validator is a very powerful validation control. This control is used to check if the value of an associated input control matches the pattern specified by a regular expression. Let's understand what we mean by this with an example. Now on the screen you can see that we are asking the user to enter a valid email address. Now we know that an email address has got a pattern. For example, it needs to have some characters or numbers followed by an at symbol followed by some characters or numbers and then a dot and then the domain name okay so this is the pattern of an internet email address now if user enters anything that does not adhere to this pattern we know that it's an invalid email and it should be flagged as a validation error so which validation control can be used to match to a specific pattern regular expression validator control and the only property that is you know specific to this validation control is the validation expression property now in the validation expression you see a strange expression here this is called a regular expression now this regular expression is specifying a pattern like this you know letters of words one or more letters of words followed by an at symbol followed by a few more letters of words and then followed by a dot and then few more letters. Now discussing the regular expressions themselves is beyond, beyond the scope of this video. We'll talk about regular expressions themselves in a later video session. In this session we'll see how to use the regular expression validator control. Okay, As I said the only property that is specific to this control is the validation expression. Now let us see how to achieve this you know that we can see on the slide you know, we'll ask the user to enter an email address if it doesn't match the pattern then we want to show a validation error message. Let's see how to use regular expression validator control. So let's quickly design this web form. Let's create an HTML table. So table and it has got a TR and this TR will have two TDs. So one is that. So let's say we want to ask the user to enter their email address and I want that to wrap inside a bold tag. And obviously we need a text box for the user to enter the email so let's drag and drop the text box and let's call this TXT email. Okay and then I need another row basically for the submit button I'm going to use TD but I want this TD to span across two TDs so I'm going to set the call span attribute to two okay so let's drag and drop the button control onto the web form and let's call this btn submit and let's call this maybe save or submit and then I need another TR basically to include a label for the status. So let's drag and drop a label control onto the web form and let's call this LBL status and let's get rid of the text property and I want to set the font bold is equal to true. Alright so we have the web form. Now we need to validate the email address that the user enters. So obviously we need a validation control. Email address has got a pattern and we need to ensure that uh, the user entered email matches that pattern. So to match a string to a pattern we can make use of the regular expression validator control. So let's drag and drop that onto the web form. So regular expression validator control. Oops, that needs to be next to the text box. So let's give this regular expression validator a meaningful name since it's um, matching email. I'm going to call this regular expression validator email. Run it is equal to server. Error message. Let's give it a meaningful error message. Let's call this invalid email in case if the pattern doesn't match. Then uh, we also need to specify control to validate property. So we are validating txt email text box. So that's the control to validate. And the most important thing is the validation expression. Now we can type the validation expression if we want or 
you know dotnet provides some built-in validation expressions already now let's set the four color to red so that the error message appears in red color so four color is equal to red now let's select the validation expression go to the properties of that and we have this validation expression property and if you click the ellipsis button next to the validation expression you should see some of the built-in standard expressions provided by Visual Studio now I want to validate against I want to match to the internet email address pattern so we should have internet email address the moment I select that look at this I get this validation expression so I click OK and now if I flip to the source you should see you know this is the regular expression okay so let's go ahead and run this and see if it's gonna match up to that uh, pattern of the email address so I'm gonna say you know maybe Prajim Tech at prajimtech.com so that's a valid email address so if I click I don't get a, an error message but on the other hand let me omit that at symbol because an email address should have an at symbol and a valid email address so if I click away look at that I get that invalid email on the other hand if I put the at symbol but if I knock off the dot you know dot is again required to have the domain name so again invalid email address but if I put a dot anywhere then it's gonna go away so here regular expression validator matches a pattern now whether this email exists or not that cannot be tested by regular expression validator regular expression validator only you know matches the user entered a string to follow a specific pattern if it doesn't follow that pattern then it's gonna you know flag that as a validation error okay and by default this client side validation is turned on now for all validation controls if you drag and drop them by default the client side and server side validation is done now user can disable client side validation so how do users disable client side validation just by disabling JavaScript on their browsers and we have seen how to do that in the previous sessions of this video series but then let's say I want to as a developer I don't want client side validation can I disable client side validation absolutely all you need to do is all the validation controls has a property called enable client side validation um, or enable client script which is true by default if I set that to false okay I'm setting enable client uh, script to false so in that case what's going to happen this validation controls will not generate the client script so when I run this now the client side validation will be skipped in the sense the validation will not be performed on the client side look at this I type this uh, an invalid email address and if I click save I get this message invalid email but after a post back and just to prove that let's click that save button so if page dot is valid and we know this is valid property is going to return true only if all the validation control passes validation even if one validation control fails then it is going to return false so we know that if if this property returns true then all validations have passed so I'm gonna say label status dot text is equal to maybe we can say data saved and then I want to set the four color of this one to green so system dot drawing dot color dot green on the other hand even if one validation control fails we know that we are gonna get false and that would come to the else block in which case we want to show a validation error message so uh, validation error and maybe we want to say data not saved and the color red okay so now let's go ahead and run this and see and remember we have disabled you know the client side script generation uh, so now if I enter an email address here which is not valid I click save look at that the validation is happening on the post back on the client it is not happening and all the validation controls support this property enable client script 
and to disable validation control itself set the enabled property to false now for example let's say I don't want any validation to be performed maybe I'm testing my application or something so I don't want this validations to you know slow my testing so uh, for temporarily I can disable these validation controls if I want to do that select the validation control and set enabled property to false and the moment I do that, validation is not going to happen either on the client or on the server. Okay, so I, I enter an invalid email address. I click save. Look at that. It says data saved, which means page.isValid property has returned a true. Okay. Again, this enabled property is supported by all validation controls. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.